Hey everybody and welcome back. And today, as you can see, we're doing sort of a different video. We're doing a screen cap video. And um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to take a little bit of a break from, you know, the whole just point camera at thing on floor or desk and just talk about it. No, I wanted to do a, uh, a screen cap video. And what we're going to be doing today is seeing if you can use virtual machines uh, for retro gaming. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, well, duh, of course you can. That What a stupid question. But, um, no, maybe you can't. You know, sometimes, you know, there's issues and stuff. But, yeah, sometimes maybe the games won't run well in virtual machines. We're here to find that out to see if you can. So you don't have to go out and build your own, like, Windows 98 machine or Windows XP machine. You can just play them on your main uh, modern gaming rig or even maybe not as gaming rig, just maybe even just normal computer because the games are old and they'll probably run fine on your computer today. Speaking of that, you're probably thinking, well, you could just maybe install them on your, you know, your main operating system, you know, Windows 8, you just install it on like Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 10. And that's true for a lot of Windows XP games, but for Windows 98 and anything before Windows 98, you start having the issue of they don't work. Either the games will crash, they have issues, or they just won't work correctly. Or they, sometimes they won't even install. So, yeah, that's virtual machines usually will make, or just running the games in the native OS that they're meant to run in is better, but keep, you know, virtual machines, we're going to test them out to see. We're going to be doing both Windows 98 and Windows XP, uh, because that's what I felt like. So, yeah, we're not, we're not doing, not doing like Windows 95 or DOS, because DOS is pretty simple nowadays. You could just use DOSBox, or you could just get your DOS games running in Windows 98. You, that's to that's definitely a possibility. All right, so we are going to be using a VMware Workstation 12 player. It'll load up here. Okay. So, yeah. So I'll I'll guide you through how to make a virtual machine in case you've never done it before. All right. So to download VMware Workstation Player 12, you just come here to uh, this URL. I'll put that in the description and. You can download it either for Windows or for Linux. Um, you need VMware Fusion, I believe, if you want to use this on a Mac. Uh, but it's your fault for using a Mac. It's just, I don't even know why you are using a Mac, but yeah. All right, so we're going to start off with Windows 98. So we're going to create a new virtual machine. Uh, this will normally be clicked by default. You're going to want to come down here and click I will install the operating system later. Make sure it's set to Microsoft Windows, although it doesn't really matter from what I've seen. And you're going to want to select here, since we're doing it, Windows 98. That's just being for this one. Virtual machine name, Windows 98. I'm going to call it Second Edition, because I am going to be installing Second Edition. The maximum disk size for Windows 98 is 120 ish gigabytes <clears throat> sorry um but you really don't need that much however with vmware workstation it doesn't allocate all the you know all the gigs you put in here so you could put you know the full 120 gigs in there if you want i'm not going to i'm just going to say 40 gigabytes um but it won't automatically allocate all 40 gigs you won't see just like a big 40 gigabyte chunk taken out of your hard drive no it'll just um, it'll take like a tiny bit out, and it'll just fill up as your as you put more data in the virtual machine. I would recommend store virtual disk as a single file. It usually uh, will give you better performance. And uh, let me see here. I would recommend customize hardware. Now, right off the bat, here we have memory. Uh, I'm going to give Windows 98 uh, a gigabyte. Uh, that's the maximum supported amount for Windows 98. I've heard that you can go up to 2 gigabytes with Windows 98, although you usually, uh, you have to edit align win.ini, and it's not really necessary. 
You could even get away with doing 512 if you're a little bit limited on RAM. But I'm going to give it a gigabyte. There we go. 1024 megabytes. Processors, number of processing cores, give it one. Give it any more and either Windows 98 won't use it or it'll freak out and just hate you. Under here, under the new CD DVD thing, um, you're going to want to use ISO image file. And I'm going to browse to my Windows 90, or just my OS disk images. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download at least the Windows 98 disk image. You won't be able to download Windows XP because it's not technically abandonware yet. So you're going to have to be on your own for Windows XP. Although you might be able to get away with Windows 2000. Hmm. That would be an interesting video. I kind of want to see if you can maybe do Windows 2000 instead of XP. See if there's any, uh, you know, downsides. Yeah. But the rest of this stuff here you can pretty much leave. But under display, you want to check accelerate 3D graphics. And with Windows 98, it's going to tell you, it's a warning, 3D acceleration is not supported in this guest operating system. Ignore that. You still want to check that because without that, we're not going to be really able to use our, uh, you know, our... We're basically not going to be able to use the graphics card as you're supposed to. For the graphics memory, I'd recommend putting this at, like, 128 megs. You really don't need any more than that for uh, Windows 98. You could even get away with uh, 64 if you wanted. But I'm going to leave it at 128. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you could add a floppy drive if you wanted, but I'm not going to. I don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and finish that. As you see now here, we have our virtual machine thing right here. I'm going to go ahead. It's already highlighted. I'm going to select Play Virtual Machine. As you can see, now it's starting up. I'm going to make this go full screen, even though it's not going to you know, do much. Uh, you're going to want to select Boot from CD-ROM. I'm going to start, uh, I'd recommend just picking number one, uh, I found that works best in a virtual machine, because, um, and it's, it's simpler to do, so it's going to boot up here, see, yeah, so the window right now is small because it doesn't know the actual resolution of the screen, so, alright, we're going to select here, configure unallocated disk space recommended, you want to enable large disk support and press enter to restart. I'm going to select boot from CD-ROM again. Select start Windows 98 setup again. Um, sorry if you can hear my PC fans. There's not really anything I can do about them. They're really loud and I don't really have anywhere else to put my PC so sorry if you have to hear them. All right, so it's now it's going to be formatting the drive C, the virtual disk. And it's going at a pretty decent rate, so, you know, not too bad. Now, I'm not going to really guide you through the whole Windows 98 setup. It's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you could figure it out on your own. But, yeah, there's, there's plenty of videos online showing you how to, you know, install, like, Windows 98, Windows XP. So I'm probably going to cut away from this and probably cut back to once we're, once Windows 98 is installed and everything. Because, you know, this this is, even though this isn't a virtual machine, it's still going to take a little while, probably about 20-ish minutes to finish. So, yeah, I'll come back once we're done with the 98 setup. Uh, see you then. Okay, so, uh, I lied. I, I wasn't cutting away. Alright, so I, something else I wanted to mention is that uh, if you want to get your mouse out of this window, is uh, you can press Control alt to release your mouse from the window, and you can click to go back in. Once we get VMware tools installed, after Windows 98 is installed, you will just go like move your mouse in, out, and out, but you have to press Control alt to get out of it. So yeah, just thought you might like to know that. All right, for real now, I'll see you when we're done with the installation. All right, so we're here. We got it all installed, uh, but you're probably noticing that there's no drivers. So uh, what we're going to do about that is you're going to take your mouse out, 
You're going to come up to the the uh, bar thing up here. I'm going to click on player. I'm going to go to manage, then install VMware tools. And uh, if it gives you a warning like this, just click yes. Now it should, yep, start the VMware tools installation, which will install all of our drivers, which is, you know, you kind of need that. All right, next. Uh, I'm just going to select typical, install. This will go pretty fast. Okay, it gives you another warning like this, click yes. Uh, just click OK if that comes up, then click finish, and uh, click yes to restart. And depending on how fast your computer is, it will vary how fast the boot up times are. So. And uh, this also is installed on a mechanical hard drive. This is not installed onto an SSD or any other sort of solid state medium. So it's going to go a little bit slower, but yeah. Uh, if it looks like it's frozen, it's probably not. Yeah, like see, it looked like it was frozen, but it actually wasn't. So yeah. Now, something you might have noticed just there is that, uh, well, one, our resolution isn't full screened yet. And uh easy way to do that is just get out, go back into full screen, and it usually, okay, no, apparently it doesn't want to, settings, uh, can I select 1440 by 900? No, all right, let me select that. Let me just see if it'll, just see, come on. Rescale. There we go. All right, now we rescaled. Full screen. Yes. All right. So we're at the desktop now. Everything got installed. You know, pretty simple. But um, you probably noticed that there was no sound. And the reason for that is, is if we go to our device manager here, you can actually see that. Uh, PCI Multimedia Audio Device is not installed. For whatever reason, the VMware Tools installation for Windows 9X won't install the audio driver for 95 and 98. I believe it installs for Windows ME, but yeah. So basically to get sound, you're gonna have to download this file. This file right here, and uh, how big is this file? This file is 4.6 megabytes, and uh, you can actually just drag and drop in because we installed VMware Tools. And this will install the driver. Um, I'm actually going to upload this to the Discord server, so you can download this file. And, uh, yeah. So you can download that from there. And basically you just run this. Yeah, because, the, because VMware emulates a Sound Blaster PCI 128, so I, I went out and found the... Sound Blaster PCI 128 driver, and I kind of just wanted to see if that would work, and I've had it work always in the past for 95, 98, and stuff. Actually, this is the file for 98 second edition, but there's actually a slightly different file for 95 and 98, I believe, but uh, I'll just upload the 98SC one, because I don't really know why you would need to use regular 98. And Windows 95 has issues running in, like, higher uh, clock speeds and stuff. So, yeah. So, found game port joystick, and it's going to restart again. As you can probably hear there, we have, you know, we now have audio. So, as you... You can hear the startup sound there. Uh, it stuttered a little bit, but, you know, that's just... Sometimes Windows 98 just does that. So, yeah. See, everything's working you know, pretty well. So, yeah. So, you know what? I actually kind of want to see 
I wonder how well 3D Mark 2001 SC will work on this. So I'm going to go get that downloaded on here, and we'll run that and see uh, how insanely high the score probably will be. So uh, see you in a bit. Ah, okay. So I went ahead and I tried to install 3D Mark 2001 SC, and I got this error saying that DirectX 8.1 or newer is required to be installed on your computer. So... Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and download DirectX 8. Um, should be able to find this pretty easily, so I'm going to go and download that. Alright, so I grabbed the DirectX 8.1 installer. Uh, it's too big to upload to the Discord, because uh, I don't have Discord Nitro. They only allowed files of 8 megabytes or less, so... Sorry about that. It, it's pretty easy to find online. I'm pretty sh sure Microsoft even has it. If not, I'll leave the link in the description for DirectX 8.1 in the description. Uh, I probably could have installed DirectX 9 now that I think about it, but... Actually, why didn't I do that? That's a good question. I don't know. But uh, I'll leave the link in the description to where you can download uh, all the DirectX versions if you so want to. Which you're probably going to want to because you kind of need it to play games. Okay, so this was an interesting error I just got. Could not create direct 3D device. Please try reducing your desktop color depth to 16-bit and run setup again or visit their website. I did, did it not select the, the uh, you know, accelerate 3D graphic? Yeah, it's, a, it's clicked. Okay. So that's, I guess we'll try reducing color depth and, oh man, but, uh, it look, oh, I don't even have an option for 250, a 16-bit color. I have to go 256 colors. Uh. Yeah, oh, oh, what, why did, why did we resize it? There we go. Alright, ugh, ugh, it looks so nasty now. Hopefully I can change it back. Well, so far this isn't going too well. And you need to be... I can't select that. What, are you kidding me? I can't select 16-bit color. Well, I guess we're gonna abandon 3D Mark. Let's see if uh, Podracer will work. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, let's see if Podracer will work. Um, let me stick in Toad Racer. Now, actually, to get this to work, I'm gonna have to go to Player, Mobile Devices, Settings for the CD drive, and tell it to use the physical drive. I'll just select the D. Uh, Click OK, yes. Insert disk. Alright. This should auto start or auto play. Looks like it's going. CD drive's getting some activity. Oh, yeah. I also forgot. I gotta. I should probably turn off the uh, desktop audio, so that way I don't get killed for copyright strikes. So, there we go, desktop audio is now off. <laughs> uh, God, that's loud. Good thing you guys can't hear it, because, yeah, because uh, I really don't want to get killed for copyrights for the music. That is going shockingly fast. I don't remember it ever going this fast before. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I mean, at least if we can't run benchmarks, hopefully we can at least run, you know, Pod Racer. You know, that's that's kind of the most important game for Windows 98. Well, I guess that's a matter of opinion, whether or not it's most important, but I, I figure it most important. It's, it's a really good game. You should play it. 
It's like 10 bucks now. So yeah, this is going faster than I remember it going. And it is still st installing off of a CD. It's not an ISO or anything. Uh, we have to go to hardware config. Uh, analyze your computer, I believe. Oh, this just brings up DX Diag. Never mind. I changed display settings. Direct 3D failure. No 3D hardware found. Oh. Pod racer doesn't work. Oh. Po pod racer. No, pod racer doesn't work. <laughs> so that means basically any game that requires direct 3D, I guess, won't work. That sucks. Um, you gonna eject the disk? My CD drive does not want to eject the disk. Oh, there we go. Well, that's really sad. Uh, ooh. I don't... That pretty much means any 3D game won't work. At least on Windows 98. Well... That, that sucks a lot. I have... Let, let, let's try Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know, that that's a 2D game. But let's see if we have any better luck with that. That is the most 90s thing I've ever seen. Sh should we do it? Should we do it? Nah. Never. Play. Oh, oh, it's already there. Oh. Play. Please play. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Please work. Please. Hello. Oh. 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 Can I type something? Oh, what if I send the machine to control up the leap? This thing can't play any games. Ah, uh, man. Well. That sucked. Well, I guess we'll move on to Windows XP then. So, fire up VMware again. This is just sad. Uh, let me create a new virtual machine. I will install the operating system later. Select Windows XP Professional. Not 64-bit edition. Um, SP3, not SP32. Uh, maximum size, sure, that's fine. Customize hardware. I'm going to select uh, two gigs for Windows XP. Uh, Windows XP 32-bit will go up to like three and a half ish, but uh, two gigs is fine. Processors, uh, I could give it all eight of my cores, although that would be a horrible idea, I'm going to give it two for now, just to see how that does. If we can even do anything, because, like, wow, I just like that to be D for the disk. Display, accelerate 3D graphics. Graphics memory, I'm going to give it a gig, hopefully. Uh, I'll still have enough VRAM left over for the actual encoding of the video, because uh, I am having... OBS uh, use the GPU as the rendering card. So, yeah. Let's go to that full screen. Now this is going to take a lot longer because, well, it's installing off an actual disk. So uh, this is going to take a while. And, well, you've already kind of seen the setup process in the installing Windows XP on minimum requirements video. 
that, and I think most people just know how the XP installation goes. So I'll come back once this is all done, and hopefully we'll have a better time. Do you think we'll get the music? I have my doubts that we'll actually get the, the installation music. That would be pretty cool if we did. It's taken a while. We do! Oh my god, we get the installation music. Out of here, stop dying. Oh, the music works, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's lagging out. Feels like 2001. Music, you were so cool. Yes, so good, so good. I'm already feeling good about this. I, I, I already got a good feeling about this. I think we might be. I think this might, this might actually work. This might work. I hope. Okay, all right. All right, well, let's install VMware tools. So, uh, hopefully this will... Uh, hopefully we'll actually be able to play games. Get out of your activation thing. I don't want to activate you now. Hey! Oh, hey. Actually resized everything already. That's cool. All right. So that That was that was that was nice. That was good. All right. See here, do we have do we even have direct decks on here? DX Diag. Do you want to allow DXI Diag to check if your drivers are digitally? Yes, I guess. What direct X version is this? Also my mouse is lagging out. That's that's a, that's an issue. Uh DirectX 9.0 C. Cool, I already installed DirectX 9. Uh, let's see if 3D Mark 2001 will work, because uh, didn't before. I got a good feeling about this. I think this might actually work for XP. Hey, there we go. Ooh, it even detects I have an AMD processor. Alright, so let's change all the settings. That's, uh, let's max this out here, or at least as max as we can get it. 
1440 by 900 anti-aliasing. I can't select any anti-aliasing. All right. Measure format, 32-bit, max, pure hardware, TNL. Okay. Uh, let's benchmark. Oh, okay, that's, that's not a good FPS's, that, that's not that great. Well, we'll come back and see how the results are when it's done. Hi. Alright, uh, 5,010 3D marks, that is a lot compared to my 98 machine, that's 3,000-ish more. Okay, <laughs> close. All right, so that was all right. So that was an interesting thing. Uh, it struggled in some areas, did okay in some others. Let's try an actual uh, video game with uh, Lego Star Wars: The Video Game. I actually have to turn off desktop audio again so I don't get killed for copyright. Let us insert the disc into the drive. Let's see how this does. Oh, it's already gone. It's gone. We're loading. Got a good feeling about this. Playing on an AMD card. Ooh, that's good. Options. That's not the options I wanted. Video options. Can't do 1600 by 1200. Don't have the resolution. Oh. Oh. Um. Don't don't send. Oh. It it was doing so well. It was doing so well. Um. AMD's better. Can we maybe not we do that? Really? 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 I can't do anything above that? Where's my mouse? I can't even find my mouse. It's stuck in the corner. It's like pointing stuck in the corner. Okay, how about we... Oh, nope, nope, nope. How about we... What if, what if we let it do its own thing? Just like... Let it try to figure it out. I think I broke it. I kinda broke it. Oh. So that's just... Well, you know what, well, let, let's stick to 640 by 480. Let, let's see how well that'll do. Maybe I was already at the higher resolution, because it because it looked pretty good. I've heard that like five times now. Oh yeah, I just realized you can't hear the Nvidia thing because I turned off the desktop audio. Oh, for a second I thought that. Just going into the controller options was going to break it. Video option. You know what? Let, let's just not touch it. Let's see if we can actually uh, load it up and actually see if we can run it. Oh. 
Nope. That's... Oh, that's right, you use arrow keys. Where do you jump? Ooh. So what's our conclusion for today? Well, uh, I'm gonna say no you can't really use virtual machines for retro gaming. It didn't really work too well. Now most XP games you can install in modern operating oh, systems, sorry. You can install on like 7, 8, 10 pretty easily. But Windows 98 uh, games mostly no. Pod Racer, I know for sure crashes. There's a lot of other games that just don't work correctly. So I'm going to call this a failure. If you want to get good uh, 98 and XP performance, go out and build yourself a real Windows 98 or XP machine. Plus, it's just nice to have a dedicated machine. Because, uh, you know, you can customize it to whatever you want. You can... Make it go period correct if you want to. And, you know, get that perfect, like, period correct experience. So, yeah. So, you can attempt this if you want to, but I wouldn't really recommend it. So, yeah. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.